Hello, welcome to Room 5. My name is Jim Trainer, and today we're going to talk to you about clocks. Two clocks, in fact. One clock in London, that's Big Ben. Another clock in Madrid, that's the clock in the Puerta del Sol. The two clocks, the clock in London, the clock in Madrid. What they have in common is that they were both made in London and that they were both made around the 1850s, 1860s, that's the last century. The man I really want to tell you about is the man who made the clock that uh, is in the Puerta del Sol here in Madrid. He was a uh, Spanish, he came from Leon, and his story is quite an interesting story. He was born 1797 in La Cabrera, in Leon. His name, José Rodríguez Losada. At the age of 15, he runs away from home. The, what did you do those days? If you didn't have a job, you joined the army, which is what he did. He appears in Cadiz. He appears again in Madrid at the end of the, the war, 1820s, 21, 22, doing okay for himself. He's been promoted in the army. Um, Well-known liberal. But uh, times change and times become difficult for the liberals. He has to flee Madrid probably about 1823, 1824. He goes to Paris. He, from Paris, he heads to London, where a lot of the exiles went back in those years. He's welcomed there in London by the committee, a Spanish committee, and they find a job for him. They find a job for him in Regent Street. Now, Regent Street back then was a brand new street, and probably one of the best addresses in London was Regent Street. The job he had was, he was sweeper-upper. He was cleaning in a watchmaker's shop, clockmaker's shop, in Regent Street. But um, he liked what he was doing. And when he swept up in the evening, instead of just sweeping away and throwing away all the bits, he kept them. And with these bits, he began to make clocks and watches himself. He became very proficient. And his boss recognized that and promoted him. Then a couple of things happened. The boss took ill. And his boss asked him, José Rodríguez uh, Losada, to, to take over the business, which he did ran the business very, very successfully. Then what happened? The boss died. What did Jose do? He married the widow. Married the widow, got into the business, and became an extremely successful watchmaker, clockmaker, one of the leading clockmakers of his time. And if you had a Losada clock, you were doing okay. Later in life, he returned to Madrid, 1859, 1860, didn't really like it when he went back to La Cabrera after 30, 40 years on Regent Street. Well, difficult to readapt again. At the time he came to Madrid, it was when the Puerta del Sol was being remodeled, redesigned, opened up, broadened up. They had a clock there. It wasn't working very well. And uh, José there, he thought, well, if there's a new clock there for Big Ben, I can provide a new, reliable clock for the Puerta del Sol. And that's what he did. Made it sent it over here, and it's been ticking and chiming ever since. See you again. Bye-bye.